This morning, the International Red Cross is asking for $86 million to help feed the people of Somalia. That country is facing war and drought, and it lies at the heart of a growing humanitarian crisis along the Horn of Africa. On Thursday, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton called on the militant organization Al-Shabaab, which controls much of the southern part of Somalia, to offer Western aid workers unfettered access to the more than three million famine victims there. Many Somalis starving and searching for safety are risking their lives to find that for their families crossing into Kenya, many of them taking up residence in Dadaab. It is the world's largest refugee camp, 420,000 people there in a space that was built to hold 90,000. Joining us this morning from Dadaab, William Spindler, who is with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Sir, good to have you with us this morning. Give us an idea, more than four times capacity at Dadaab. Are you able to handle all of these people who so desperately need your help? Well, here at the border between uh, Kenya and Somalia, the UN Refugee Agency has put in place a, a huge relief operation to assist and protect uh, over 400,000 Somali refugees. But the numbers just keep growing, and every day uh, we receive some 1,500 new arrivals, and they arrive in, uh, in a very bad state. They are uh, hungry, they are malnourished, they are frightened, and they are tired. And this has put huge, huge strain on our capacity to respond to this uh, huge emergency. Uh, many people at home who watch this unfold will think of Somalia, and it's impossible for many Americans not to think back to 1993, uh, Black Hawk Down, of course. Uh, things had started as a humanitarian mission. Um, how do you make the people of the U.S. understand what is different in Somalia today versus 20 years ago when it comes to this crisis? Well, inside Somalia, the uh, different aid agencies are operating, but we operate under extremely difficult uh, conditions uh, because of uh, the insecurity and uh, our capacity to do good and to save human lives is very limited. We cannot go to some areas because uh, we ourselves would be in danger. But in other areas where, uh, where we can operate, where our staff are not uh, targeted, and where we can be sure that the help is going to, uh, are, uh, to be given to the victims and is not going to be used for uh, the militias, in those areas we can operate. But we operate under very difficult uh, conditions inside Somalia. But at the same time, hundreds of thousands of Somali refugees are fleeing Somalia because of the conflict and now because of the famine. Mm -hmm. And they're coming to countries like Kenya, but also to other countries in the region. Mm -hmm. Ethiopia, I know, has a number of uh, over 100,000 at just one camp there as well. William Spindler, thanks for your time this morning. We will be speaking with you uh, later this week on a programming note. I'm actually traveling to Dadaab Dadaab over the weekend, and we will be bringing you comprehensive coverage of this famine in East Africa next week, right here on The Early Show, and a closer look at well as well at how you can help, because there is so much you can do, uh, even as we face so many crises here at home. A little bit can go a long way there.